Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to go over all the fees that you'll be charged if you're selling digital items on Etsy. Now, I also have another video about fees if you have a physical shop and you're actually shipping things to people. And if you wanna see that video, it's right up here at the top of your screen above. One thing that's changed since I made that video is that the 5% transaction fee is now 6.5%. I also wanna say that if you're starting an Etsy shop for the first time, uh, there's a link in the description below that you can get 40 free listings. And when you use that, I also get 40 free listings. So it's definitely a win-win situation. All right, let's get started. Okay, so generally speaking for most of us, and this really depends on where you live, Etsy charges number one, a listing fee of 20 cents. Now this one is the most confusing of all the fees in my opinion. So I'm gonna talk a lot more about this at the end of the video. But long story short, you have to pay this fee at the time the item is listed, whether it sells or not. And if you're wondering about multiple quantities and how that works with listing fees, that will also be towards the end of the video. And I also have a video specific to that, and that'll be in the description below if you wanna take a look at it. The second fee is a transaction fee, and this one only happens if you sell something. It's 6.5% on the cost that the customer paid. So if you have a sale going on, or let's say it's half off, you'll only get charged 6.5% of what the customer paid in total, not the price before the sale and coupon. The third fee is the Etsy payments fee or processing fee. This fee comes from using Etsy's payment system, which is called Etsy payments. If you're in the list of countries that accepts Etsy payments, you have to have Etsy payments as an option in your shop. If you're not on that list, there are other payment options that are available for you and you won't have to pay the Etsy payments fee. In the US, the fee for using Etsy payments is 25 cents plus 3%. And that percentage is also based on what your buyer paid. The fourth fee is sales tax or VAT. Now this is something that's collected by Etsy. The buyer pays it and then Etsy will send it off to whatever government needs it. You don't even have to worry about it. So it won't come out of your income. And for that reason, I'm not gonna show it in the examples, but we'll look at how it works towards the end of the video too. Now, if you wanna see all the fees for every transaction that your shop has had, you can do that by downloading your monthly statement. And I'll show you how to do that later too. Okay, so let's look at a couple examples. Let's say that I live in the USA, so I've got Etsy payments, and I wanna sell some clip art. I'm gonna fill out my listing. So I'll add photos, fill out all the information for my listing, and I'll do a quantity of 100. Now, you can put this up to 999 or something like that, but I always just do 100. So then, once I hit this publish button, I'll be charged 20 cents. That's the listing fee. Then let's say after a few days, someone buys this. So here's the fee breakdown. Now I'm including that listing fee, even though we already paid it, because I wanna show all the fees for that listing. So here is everything. We have our listing fee of 20 cents. We have our transaction fee, which is 6.5% of what the customer paid, which was $2.75. So that is 18 cents. Then we have our Etsy payments fee of 3% of the price the customer paid, which is $2.75, and then we add 25 cents to that, and that will give us 33 cents. After all is said and done, I will get $2.04 out of the $2.75, and Etsy gets the rest. That's 26% in fees, but it's because it's a lower priced item. So the listing fee and Etsy payments fee really eat up a lot of that price. But this is a digital item, so once you've created it, there's no more work involved, no shipping or anything. And this can sell hundreds or thousands of times. Now, a good workaround to get that percentage down if you don't like paying 26% in fees is to list bundles of designs at a higher price. Now, because I've set the quantity at 100, this listing will renew automatically until it sells out. Let's say someone buys this. At that point, our quantity would become 99 and we get charged another 20 cents listing fee. So let's say someone else buys another one. The amounts will still be the same, but our quantity will go down to 98 and we'll pay another listing fee. So I'm just trying to show how that listing fee works on quantities a little bit. Okay, so let's look at another item. 
This one is a bundle of 10 clip art designs for $15.75. So here are all the fees for that. We have our listing fee of 20 cents, the transaction fee, which is 6.5% times what the customer paid in this case, which was $15.75. So that equals a dollar two. Then we have the Etsy payments fee, which is 3% of what the customer paid, which is $15.75 plus 25 cents. So that equals 72 cents. So after all is said and done, we end up with $13.81 out of the $15.75 sale price and Etsy gets the rest. So this is a much better deal for us. The fees are only 12% instead of 26%. So it's definitely in your best interest to make bundles of clip art or whatever you're selling in addition to your single clip art items. Taxes and VAT are not included here, but long story short, as I mentioned, Etsy collects those for you. They charge that to the customer. Etsy takes it and you don't ever see it. So it doesn't really involve the buyer at all. Another thing to mention about the listing fee, the listing fee is charged at the moment you list the item. So if you use my link for 40 free listings, you won't be charged the fee for those, of course. But let's say you have 50 listings and you paid Etsy 20 cents each time you listed them. So at that point, you owe Etsy $10. Now, if you make a sale while you have an outstanding balance like that, the net sale amount will be applied to your outstanding balance. If you don't sell anything, you will have to pay that outstanding balance manually by a credit card, debit card, or PayPal. If you're wondering about multiple quantities, I get tons of questions about these, so I'm going to do my best to explain them. Now, I mentioned that when you list a new item, you're automatically charged 20 cents. This is before anybody buys it. The 20 cent fee is good for four months or until someone buys it. Now, since you have digital items, you can put your quantities however high you want. So let's say you list an item like a resume template or something like that, and you decide to put the quantity at 100. So you're thinking, oh my gosh, am I going to get charged 20 cents times 100, $20 right now? The answer is no. So if you sell the first one you list, which you pay 20 cents for, the next one will be automatically relisted and you'll get charged another 20 cents at that point. You'll only get charged that 20 cents when the next item is listed after the one before it's sold. So if you sell all 100 of that item, then yes, you will have spent 20 cents times 100, so $20, because when it relists, Etsy does see it as a new item. But if you don't ever sell any of them, you will only pay that 20 cents once. Or if you sell five, you'll pay it five times. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, if that listing with 100 quantity sits there for four months and no one buys it, it will expire. And you'll only have paid that original 20 cents, you know, four months ago when you first listed it. Now, if you want to relist it after the four months, Etsy is going to want another 20 cents. So that 20 cent listing fee is good for four months or until it sells. You can also set your listings to just automatically relist when they expire if you want to do that. Now, if you've sold something and your fees are still confusing you, go to your shop manager, finances, monthly statements, and then choose generate CSV right here. It might take some time, but eventually you can download it. When you open it, you'll be able to see the fees listed out separately. So let's look at an example and yours should look really similar to this. You'll have your listing fee and that's 20 cents. Uh, your transaction fee, this will be the 6.5% on what the customer paid. And then you'll have the processing fee or the Etsy payments fee. You'll also see sales tax or VAT here, but that's not something you really need to worry about. And if you're still confused about anything, please leave a comment in the comment section below. All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.